Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today with a quick video just to give you a look at the 8 inch version of the Lenovo Smart Display. And we originally had the 10 inch version in for review a few weeks ago, but then it became known that this 8 inch version was going to be the only one sold here in Canada, at least for the time being, that is our understanding. And anyway, there's very little difference between the two models aside from their screen size and resolution. So the 8 inch has a 2 inch inch smaller screen obviously and its resolution is 1280 by 800 whereas the 10 inch model has a 1920 by 1200 resolution now aside from that the only real big difference between the two models is the fact that the bigger one has a bamboo backing and the 8 inch has a backing that kind of matches the rest of the device which I actually think looks a little bit nicer anyway because the bamboo it just kind of feels a little bit loud to me now as for features of these things well they can both do pretty much exactly the same stuff they both feature the Google Voice Assistant to answer all of your questions and look things up for you on the internet so for instance uh, in the background there I'm asking it things like uh, the weather report for my local area, uh, traffic conditions, uh, currency conversion rates, uh, asking it to give me recipes and who specific people are, all kinds of different stuff like that. And it's really good at giving you the right answer. Uh, you know, occasionally you can stump it uh, with something, but uh, if you're looking for some sort of specific information on virtually any subject, you'll usually get the answer that you want. And uh, often that will also include photographs and text as well as an audible answer because of the screen. Now, something that I only just uh, recently discovered about uh, the Lenovo Smart Display, pretty much since receiving this 8-inch version, is that it makes one heck of an excellent digital picture frame. Now, basically, when it's just kind of on and sort of running in the background and not being used to follow sports scores or watch YouTube videos or play music or whatever, it'll cycle through a whole lot of very nice screen savers that are quite beautiful in their own right. But you can actually get this thing to show your own photos as well in sort of a slideshow type of a format and I'll just kind of let a few of my own photos run here to give you an idea of what that looks like and all you really have to do is ask it to display your photos so you'll say something like hey Google show my photos or whatever and it will do as you ask and it will change the image up every few seconds and it will use the photos from your Google Photos app so you will need to make sure that your permissions uh, within Google and your settings are set to allow the device to access your pictures but other than that it's very straightforward and easy to do and of course these are just a few of the many cool things that you can do with this device but for more information on it I will invite you to check out my complete written review over at the Best Buy Canada blog where you will find images of both versions of the Lenovo Smart Display that should help you to differentiate between the two. And you know, I actually like that this one takes up a little bit less space than the 10 inch model because if you could see how limited my countertop space is, you would understand that that sort of real estate is certainly at a premium here in my place. And you know, if you want to use this in the kitchen to follow recipes or whatever it's much better if it doesn't take up any more room than is absolutely necessary but anyway that's all I'm going to say here in this video again do stop by the blog for more information thank you for watching and have an excellent day